Hey everybody and welcome to this video. I'm Inks Laura 123 and this is going to be a spend the day with me vlog. So hope you enjoy watching. If you do, please click like, comment, share and please subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. And don't forget also to smash that notification bell to all notifications. Then you can see when I've uploaded new videos and also when I'm doing live streams. So it's Thursday. I'm up very early and I'd rather be in bed. If I'm honest, I'd rather be in bed, but there it is. Um, first thing this morning, I have an appointment at the dentist. I'm having my hygienist appointment today, um, which if you're a regular viewer of my channel, you'll know that I've got a very bad dental phobia. Um, by the way, my hygienist and everyone who works at the dental practice are like really, really nice. They're lovely people. They're so amazing with me because I'm proper like a nervous wreck. But it doesn't matter how nice they're going to be, I still have <laughs> a dental phobia. So I'm just going to go. I'm really pleased in a way that I've got the appointment early um, because I suppose at least once it's done, I've got the rest of the day just to myself and to kind of chill out again. So, you know, but anyway, I'm very nervous and. Ugh, just want it done. Just want it done. So I'm going to jump in the shower now, get ready quickly. My hair looks very bizarre. I don't know what's going on with... Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get in the shower, then I'm going to get ready. Because when I'm anxious, I get very, very hot. I've got to wear like a really thin like t-shirt or something, even though out there it's blooming freezing cold. But I'll wear my nice coat as well. So when I do come out the dentist and I'm wandering around, then I'll, I'll be warmer. But... um. Yeah, I'm going to get ready, go there. When I come out of there, I've got a few shops to go. So you can come with me if you'd like to. Um, seeing how busy it is, if it's not too busy, I might grab a coffee because I haven't had a coffee for a while. So I'm going to have a coffee in Starbucks and then get back here. Um, I have been feeling groggy the last few days. So I've done two COVID tests, I think two or three, and they've been clear, which is good. But I still feel groggy. Um, so I don't know. I just, maybe it's a bit of a cold. I mean, it is a weird time of the year with the weather and stuff, and I don't know. Um, but, yeah, I've got to, as I say, go to a few shops, and then I can get back. Tonight, we've got our Iceland delivery coming, so if you want to watch, we'll do the haul. And sometimes I do a video separately, like an Iceland haul, but sometimes I include it in the vlog. So I'm going to just include it in the vlog today so you can see what we've got in our Iceland haul. I don't think there's much different stuff but there might be a few different bits and pieces maybe I don't know I can't even remember to be fair um but yeah so oh I just feel groggy um I'll be showing you and telling you about my making my hair look worse I'm trying to tidy it up and it just looks anyway um yeah I'll be telling you showing you my book that I'm reading later on it's very very good it's a YA fantasy it's a duology and I'm on book one and loving it so I'll show you that later um, and I don't know, yeah, it's going to literally say how I feel later. If I feel a bit easier, I'll try and do a little bit of filming because I really do need to do some filming. If I don't, then I won't. So it's literally playing today, you know, while you're going with the flow. Right, I'm going to stop rambling and hurry up and get in the shower. My appointment is at half eight and it's like five to eight. So yeah, I haven't got long. I'm going to literally <laughs> so be really quick getting ready. Um, I'm still really tired as well. I didn't sleep very well. But anyway, enjoy spending the day with me and uh, let's do it. Okay, so I've got about a minute to get there, but it's only over there, so I should be all right. <laughs> oh, it doesn't feel so good. Oh. Yeah, having an appointment this early is probably not a good idea. But anyway, you live, you learn. But I will be pleased when I get out, I suppose. <sighs> it's too early. Too early. Anyway. I'm nearly there, just over there, in that house. My mum gave me a lift in and uh, she went down a road with a load of speed bumps and every speed bump was making me feel more sick. I was like, <laughs> oh, oh well, I'm here. Okay, up the ramp. I'll see you on the other side. <laughs> okay, I'm out. It's done. I feel very proud of myself. I was very brave. Um, did have a few moments of panic, but I got through it. Um, so yeah, I can kind of whew, chill out a little bit now. Just come for a little wander. 
just along here just to uh, I don't know have a little walk get a bit of fresh air oh look at that view let's take a walk down look at that view beautiful there's the new uh, big wheel <laughs> at uh, Adventure Island Let's zoom in a bit there we go it is massive it's supposed to be South End's version of the London Eye <laughs> don't know about that but it is big It's just nice being out and about. I didn't really go out yesterday so I felt so groggy. So it's just nice to have a bit of a walk and some fresh air and exercise. I tend to do this actually. Normally, when I come out of the uh, dentist, I come down here for a little wander. It's like my uh, my little ritual. Get that done, and then sort of come for a little walkies. Okay, so I'm just in Poundland getting a few bits and pieces. I've got some waterproof plasters, little princesses on because I'm a big kid, and some um, hair bubbles, all tied up. Jeez, Christmas is just done and already the Valentine stuff's out. <laughs> it's pretty cool, Mickey Mouse kitchen towel. <laughs> now this is what I was after and they have got them. I want this aisle as well, arts and crafts. I was going to see if there's anything for my scrapbooking. These are cool, look, for a pound, a bag of assorted sequins. Oh, they've got the tape as well. Ooh, this is good, this is good. Now this is perfect. Expanding box file with 19 sections. Yes, I've been looking for something where I can put all my arts and crafts stuff in instead of just having it in a bag. Do you know what I mean? So here's like individual bits. So I can put like different, you know, pictures, stickers, card, etc. in between. And then it all nicely folds up like that. That is pretty cool. You can always put some like stickers over it as well. Make it look a bit more funky. Love that. It's only lightweight as well, which is good. Yeah. Googly eyes. I do need some googly eyes actually for a picture I've got planned. So like with my scrapbook in, I'm gonna do like different themes, like each page will be a different theme. So definitely gonna grab these. Big googly eyes. There's <laughs> this. So you get the little inks and stamps. Mm. Yeah, no, I do wanna get some stamps so I can put them on, but these are not really Mm, what I need, but I will be looking for stamps, maybe in Hobby Craft or the Ranger or something at some point. I found these stickers, that's what I'm looking for. Little teddy bears there, that's cute. Got the two teddy bear themed sticker packs. Just looking at some greeting cards uh, for me scrapbooking and look at this this is stunning do you just cut them out and put them in the scrapbook so if there's any more mm, no i think i'm just gonna get this one it is stunning though look at that okay let's have a quick little look in Primark my dad and his partner Jan got me vouchers for Christmas and uh, every time I'm in town I just head in to see if I can find anything but um, yeah <laughs> I haven't found anything yet to spend my vouchers on so it's not a problem they'll just you know stay in my purse and when I 
do need something. I love this colour green. I really like the colour green. Oh, look, there's so much green everywhere. Focus on the good. Oh, wow, I love those tights. They're pretty cool. <laughs> I might get this t-shirt, it's pretty cool. I like the message, focus on the good, instead of, you know, focusing on ne negative stuff. Uh, it's a fiver, but the main thing is the green. I love this colour green, so, yeah, I'll grab that. This is cool. I do like a bit of art. Hoodie, but, uh-uh. I've only got small, extra small, 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 small. Nope. Who is that? Justin Bieber, is it? Jeez, don't look nothing like him. I have to be honest though, I am a, a Bieber fan. Don't, don't tell anyone. <laughs> oh, they've got Flintstones t-shirt. Da, 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 da. And they do have it in XL. I do like this t-shirt, but looks like, yep, yeah, only small and medium. No! <laughs> What about us chubby girls? We need clothing too, you know? Oh, I love that. I bet they haven't got it in a bigger size. They've got XL. Let's see what that's like. <laughs> Profile pic. Tagged pic. That's so funny. I'm sure I've tried this one on before, though, and it was very tight. Oh, well. Self-care club. This is so fluffy, it's like a teddy bear. Mm, it's coming off a little bit there. Look, it's like a, it's not a hole, but it's. Mm, it's any other ones? That size, yep. It's very fluffy. But I think I would look like a giant teddy bear. Let's try on. Do I look like a giant teddy bear? I feel it, but I really like it. Just having a quick look in the mirror. I like the um I don't know the feel of it, it feels nice and cozy. <laughs> That's such an idiot like this. It's like uh, but yeah, it's nice. And I like the fact it's not too long, it's not like a big do you know what I mean? Full length coat. I mean I'm too hot in it now because it's not actually that cold and I've been rushing around but Imagine when it's super cold. That's lovely. That's so fluffy. Sleeves are a good length as well. They're not like down there. Um, I tried one on like this the other week, but it was more baggy and just looked too like big on me. Um, and also it's like a, a pinky color, which wouldn't have gone with any sort of clothing color. Whereas this, I think would go with most um, colors. Do you know what I mean? But the only thing I would say is, I've got it with a t-shirt. If I had it with a jumper, would it be as, would it feel a bit too much? Whew. Spots. Um, and I don't like the collar. The collar's a little bit, <laughs> that's the only thing I'm not liking is this massive, chunky, thick collar around my neck. But, I don't know, what do you reckon? Oh, can't get my arm out, I'm stuck. <laughs> I always say, if in doubt, don't buy it, because I'm just going to be awkward with it, I think. But it is cute, I do like it, but it's like 20 quid, so if I'm not feeling it 100%, there's just no point. Okay, so I'm just leaning over getting my stuff. Oh, I'm getting really hot. Oh, I don't know if they've got like, the heating on in here, or if it's just me where I feel a bit groggy, but I'm just so hot. <sighs> oh, I'm starting to feel really groggy, seriously. I just want to sit down, I think, have some paracetamol, maybe have a nice cup of coffee something I don't know oh, oh. <laughs> 
Um, just went in Waterstones, picked up um, a book someone had recommended to me called Dead Romantics. It's supposed to be very good, like romantic, funny, bit of paranormal vibes as well. So yeah, picked that up. And I'm now heading back up the high street. Um, God, I look so rough. Oh, my face looks bright red. Um, yeah, I'm heading back up. I need to still get, uh, what do I need? Oh, I need some pseudo creme, <laughs> pseudo creme. Um, not because I have a baby to put the pseudo creme on, because it is obviously for babies. I put it on my face. And if I get spots, I put the um, pseudo creme on my spots and it does help to, you know, take the spots down, take the redness away and stuff. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna grab some of that. I looked in boots and they only had like the giant one for like a fiver. And I was like, I'm not paying a fiver for that. I don't need a big one. Um, so I'm gonna look in savers. And I do also need to get some COVID tests because number one, I still feel really groggy. So I am gonna do another test. And also, just, you know, they're handy to have in a cupboard, aren't they, if you need them. I'm kind of regretting buying all this stuff now because it's heavy. Oh, just wanna go home. <laughs> Send me home to bed. Oh well. Okay, so I'm at home now. The time is quarter past 12. I've done a COVID test and it's clear, which is good. So I'll do another test obviously tomorrow if I still feel groggy. But at the moment it is coming up clear. So that is good. It's obviously like a little bug, coldy thing. I don't know, but I do feel pretty rough, I have to say. My skin looks terrible as well. Look, I've got a massive spot there. And I've got one, where is it? Yeah, just above my lip there. Um, but I have got some Sudacreme to rub on today so I'll do that anyhow I thought I'd uh, quickly show you my little haul just a bits and pieces that I've got today uh, whilst I was out I've got some sponges two pink one white um, I needed a new sponge as did Nathan and we'll just have a spare one in the cupboard um, now don't laugh I know this is for babies and I'm 43 but uh, this is creamy porridge by Cow and Gate and I used to really really love porridge but then a few years ago I had one of those Greg pots that you can buy of porridge and you add water and mix it up and it was quite flaky and a bit of the porridge got stuck in my throat and I could just feel it you know when you get like something like that and you you drink and drink but it's still there and I was like trying to cough it out anyway since then I just didn't really have porridge because I kept thinking about this little flaky bits but this one says it's super creamy I mean you can see on the picture it says creamy texture and I really miss the taste of porridge um, it says here as well, it's a good source of iron and calcium, no added sugar and blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, I know it's for kids, but I'm going to have some. This I got for my scrapbooking in the charity shop. Love it. Such a beautiful picture. I'm loving that. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a good idea if you, you know, you're into scrapbooking and stuff like um, greeting cards, postcards, you know, cut them up and they become part of the picture. Um, this is the book I picked up. <coughs> from um, Waterstones by Ashley Poston and it's called The Dead Romantics. I honestly have been recommended this book and told it's amazing. Um, it's supposed to be like a bit of a paranormal vibe, romance, but a little bit of comedy as well. Um, and I loved Guy Carella by the same author. I've read a few books by her actually. But yeah, this is an adult book. It's, I don't even think it's YA. I think it is adult contemporary romance fiction-y kind of vibe. So yeah. We'll see. We'll see. I hope it's going to be good. It's kind of on the, what is it, the um, book talk, you know, sensations list. Um, also, I've got my pseudocreme, which I'm going to pop on in a bit on the spot. Um, everything's everywhere. Hold on. Oh, this turned up in the post when I got home. I was really excited. I've been getting a few of these recently. We've had, who have we had? We've had the steam train one. We've had uh jack the ripper the next one we really want to get is the titanic but these are fantastic they're called uh, replicas and oh hold on replicas and basically you get kind of all these like little i'll show you the backs really easy you get all these little bits and pieces on your chosen subject um 
for example, like with the Jack the Ripper one, there's all these little cards that had pictures of the suspects and the letter that Jack had wrote and all this, you know, it, it's just really interesting. And um, I love it. So this one is about suffragettes, votes for women. And so one of my scrapbook pages, because I'm going to do like a theme on each page, is going to be like women's rights, feminism, girl power, that kind of thing. And obviously the suffragettes, big part of that. I've got so much respect for them um of you know what they did so women could get the vote and yeah strong strong females love it so yeah that is cool we'll look through that at some point tonight or tomorrow then i picked up at my daddy's oh i've got to ring my dad actually so thank you uh, my daddy's christmas vouchers i've got this lovely green color if you saw in the video like so much green not just in um primark but in loads of shops green must be the color at the moment and I really like this colour. Um, I think, what is it? Focus on the good or something. It said, yeah. But look at that colour. With my dark hair, I think it looks nice. So I like a nice baggy t-shirt. And that colour is absolutely gorgeous. Also, mm, dropping the bag and dropping the phone. Ah! Um, I got this Flintstones t-shirt. I love the Flintstones Da, 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 da. Can you see that? There's uh, Fred and Barney on there, and there is Dino at the back as well. Da, 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 da. I'm trying to straighten this up so you can actually see it better. There we go, see it better. <laughs> so, yeah, I've got that out of my dad's voucher, and I've still got money left on it, so that's good. And then in the um, charity shop, I've also got two books. Yeah, the Bernardo's recently have been having brand new books. Not second hand, brand spanking new. Apparently the publishers send them books and stuff, so as a result. Um, and what I do, I buy them, I read them myself, and then I pop them on eBay. So I got these for like a pound each or one fifty. Um so this is Sarah Cross and here is the beehive. I absolutely love Sarah Cross and books. I've read pretty much most of them that she's done. Um, but I've not read this one, so I was really pleased to see this one in hardcover as well. And this is a book that's wrote in verse. Sarah Crossan seems to write a lot, obviously, in, in verse. Basically, it's like, you know, say one page might just have like a few lines on, you know. Um, so they're quite quick reads, I find, when they're in verse. But yeah, it happened again and again and again and again and again. Together apart in love, in aching, tangled, unraveling. I think this is about a girl who, a woman who's like having an affair or something. Hold on. Da, 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 da. I've been having an affair, yeah, for three years in hotel rooms, coffee shops, swiftly deleted texts and briefly snatched weekends. Then the unimaginable happens. Anna finds herself alone, trapped inside her secret. How do we grieve for something no one else can ever find out about? Hmm. So, yeah, for a pound, brand spanking new. And as I say, I will be popping that on eBay after it's done. Another book I got... I have been, honestly, thinking about this book for a long time, ever since I first heard about it on a TV show. I think it's like a book club TV show on Sky. And it's by William Boyd, and it's called Trio. So this originally, there's a price thing on it, is worth £18. Um, yeah, £18.99 to be exact, if you get it in the Waterstones and stuff. Um, but yeah, so it's called Trio. And I don't know, I'd had my eye on it, but because it's not something I'd normally pick up, I didn't buy it. But for a pound or 150 or whatever, I was like, yeah, I'm going to get that. Once again, brand new, um, so I can sell it. It's to do with, like, hold on, do, do, do. it's set in 1968. It's like actors and actresses and things. I'm sure that's what it was. Uh, yeah, that's it. While the world is reeling, three characters are involved in making a swinging 60s movie in sunny Brighton. So, yeah, they're all, like, the dramas that happen on set and stuff. But as I say, it's not really my thing and... I've never read anything by him. That's why I didn't buy it. But for a pound or whatever, I thought I'd give it a go. And if not, as I say anyway, they will end up on eBay. And they're both hardcovers. So hopefully I get a little bit more for them. Um, in Poundland, I've got some, <laughs> don't laugh, Princess Waterproof Plasters. Yeah. I've had um, a few cuts on my fingers recently. And I had to wear some like normal plasters that weren't waterproof. And every time, obviously, I was in the shower, they just went all soggy and disgusting. I was like, mm. and Nathan's like, next time you're out, get some waterproof plasters. And I was like, yeah, it's a good idea. Only I didn't want some boring brown ones. So I found the princess ones because I thought they were super cute. Even though they are probably for children. They are for children. Um, I've got the two sticker sets, two for a pound with the teddy bears on. 
uh, for my folder. Oh, my folder's over there. I can't bother to get up. But you saw the folder anyway when I was walking around, didn't you? Um, that's going to be brilliant to put all my craft stuff in. It kind of opens up and you can just put all your little bits and pieces in between the sections. So that was cool. Um, so, yeah, I've got that. That's over there. And I've got some more teddy bear stickers. So, yeah, the only thing that's a bit boring looking. Um, so I'm going to put some teddy bear stickers all over it. Because, you know, I'm cool like that. <laughs> also in pan land for me crafting, I've got this Crafters Assorted Sequins. Um, there's some really cute ones. There's stars, there's shells, there's trees. I think I just saw a little tree. All sparkly. So they're nice, like those. And the tapes. Oh, I love this. Look at that. I really want to get some more of these kind of tapes. Um, maybe like themes on them. But for now, that is a good start. Because I'd use them for like edges and stuff on the scrapbooking. And I've got more googly eyes. Big eyes. And some hair bands. Bobbles. Hair bobbles. Um, yeah, I've got these like kind of goldy coloured ones. But yeah, I just... I don't know what happens to my hair bands. I really don't. I think there's like a hairband thief who comes along and steals my hairbands. Because, <laughs> like, I take them off and I just don't know where they go. So, you know, I'm just putting this all back. <sighs> but, yeah, so I'm just going to chill. I've got my chocolate milkshake. I'm watching a bit of TV for a bit. Mum and Nathan will be back uh, from work. I think about one-ish. They're leaving off a bit earlier today because Mum's got a doctor's appointment so yeah anything I've got to do is um, go around to the little corner shop because I was supposed to oh, I'll leave that out because I need to put that on my spots um, actually I can't because I'm going in the shop I'll put it back in the bag <laughs> yeah I've got to go around the little um, corner shop to get Nathan an energy drink because I, I promised I'd get him an energy drink and I completely forgot because I didn't feel well um, so I'm just going to stand at the top of the road, so I'll just grab um, an energy drink for him, and uh, maybe a cheeky scratch card for myself. <laughs> but is that the postman? No, it's just eight. Someone said a delivery. The lucky people. Anyway, I feel rough. <laughs> oh, it's horrible. I hate it. I hate feeling rough. I was so lucky because over Christmas time, like Christmas Day and that, I was all right. I was like, oh, that makes a change. Normally at Christmas, New Year, I'm ill, but I wasn't. You know, so I had a nice time and I had some selfies. And now it's got to January. I'm like, I feel ill. <laughs> but anyway, oh, I've had my paracetamol. I can't have any more till like three-ish. So, yeah. Right, I'm going to stop rambling, drink my chocolate milkshake, watch a bit of TV, and I'll see you lovely people in a bit. Okay, so I'm going to relax now. I'm going to lay in bed and have a nice little read. Um, so I'm actually currently reading two books. Oh, and I've got an audio book as well, but <laughs> I'm not going to listen to that in a minute. But I'm reading, this is my like kind of fiction book, uh, Gilded by Marissa Mayer. This is so good. Honestly, I'm really enjoying it. It's a retelling of, um, what's his name? Rumpelstiltskin. Really good. Absolutely love it. And I have number two, hold on, number two here to read, Cursed. So yeah, it's a duology. And I'm also reading a few pages a day, so hopefully I'll get it done, you know, by the end of the month. And this is Ghosts and the Paranormal. So it says, from the Tower of London to Amityville, look inside to explore the world's most haunted locations. And it's really interesting, like actual, you know, spooky things, spooky places. I still love the best of all is I think there's a picture on the back. Oh no, there's not. I'm imagining it. But anyway, there's um what's it called? Island of the Dolls. And yeah, it's just a creepy place. You've got Tower of London there. It's just um quite easy to read, like and you get an interesting fact on each page as well and pictures. So yeah, I'm gonna literally just lay in bed and just relax and have a little read. Oh, uh, this is a terrible angle for me to film. Look at this. This is like, <laughs> this is awful. And I have a white moustache because I've put pseudocrem on my spots. Try and take me seriously if you can, if you will. Um, so what I've been up to, I had a sleep for about an hour because I just, oh, I just felt rough. I still feel really rough. I'm going to take some more painkillers soon. 
Um, I need Lemsip, but I have no Lemsip, so is what it is. I'm just going to have to deal with just taking paracetamols the rest of the night, which uh, isn't great, but it's better than nout. Um, yeah, so I had a nice sleep. I woke up, I'd done some YouTube work, um, put video on and stuff like that. Um, answered some of my comments. I had a read as well. I've been reading Nathan's book that he's lent me, his paranormal book. So I read some spooky encounters. I'm really enjoying it, actually. Um, and then, yeah, that's kind of been it, really. I've just been lazy and just laying about. Um, I haven't eaten since like, I got back, so I've not really eaten much today. I haven't really got much of an appetite. Well, I have and I haven't. Like, I'm kind of hungry, but I'm not. Does that make any sense? Probably not. But, um, oh, gee, I just feel ropey. Ropey? Ropey. I feel ropey. I feel ropey. Um, so, yes, we are waiting... Um, the next few hours, obviously, our Iceland delivery will be here. Um, so, yeah, I've got some new bread coming because I'm running low on bread. So I'm pleased we managed to get some bread. I've had real difficulties getting my um, Warburton's bread lately. So I got bread, ordered some more um, Pepsi Max cans. Um, oh, my God, the prices have gone up so much with things. Like, I had to pay £9 for my pepsi mac i'll get 24 cans but normally it used to be like seven or eight now it's like nine like i know it's silly but like it just it, it all adds up do you know what i mean so <sighs> yeah can't remember what else i would have done um, gravy i think i've got some gravy coming we needed some gravy um a bit of chocolate naughty naughty but yeah so as i say when the shopping comes i will do like a little kind of mini haul in this video but yeah, I just oh, feel rough. I feel really, really rough. <laughs> but anyway, my mouth sore as well from the hygienist. But I think my main symptoms are just feeling coldy. Um, I am going to do another COVID test tonight because I don't know. I just maybe I'm being paranoid. Or I am being paranoid. But I always worry when I do it that I don't get the stick up there because I don't like putting it up there. I'm just like at the entrance and you're supposed to stick it a bit higher so um i've asked nathan and he kind of sticks it up a bit higher from it. it freaks me out like i just i don't mind if he's doing it i kind of close my eyes and he does it but i don't like it myself i have to stick it up i just oh makes me uncomfortable but yeah i just oh, i feel really rough i am quite hot as well but um anyway so I'm um, just going to lay around for a bit more. Then I'll have to turn my laptop on again because I need to put a video public on my other channel, which I completely forgot to do before when I was doing my YouTube work. So, yeah, I'm going to have to go on the ASMR channel, put a video public on there um, and answer the comments on that channel as well. So do a bit of that and then I'll, <sighs> then I'll get on with some more reading. But I'll go over to my book, my actual fiction book, which is Gilded by Musa Mayer which is a retelling of um, Rumpelstiltskin. So it's weird because like, I know obviously lots of fairy tales and stuff from being a kid and that, but like I don't really remember much about Rumpelstiltskin. I just remember like the spinning wheel and the, the gold and I don't know. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this. It's so good. I'm loving it. Um, the only sad thing is it is from the library. So when I've finished, I've got to give it back. <laughs> but yeah, it's really good. So that is the plan. Just chill, read and some more youtube work but uh feel rough i've seen a bit well ma <laughs> love you wilma bad news though your tinsel is gonna have to come down soon because we've got to take all the christmas decks down this weekend i know it's sad i oh, know but yeah. You'll have some dinner soon if you want, yeah? Okay. Okay, so we are just watching some videos on YouTube. This guy in America is going around... Um, flea markets. What are they called? Yeah, flea markets, which is pretty much like a boat sale yeah. here in the UK. And they've got some really random old things. Yeah. VHS machines. Old Did you stuff. have a video? Were you too no, young? No, I was a kid. It was VHS. Yeah, oh, okay. Um, they had Lights Alive, yeah, lights which you alive. don't remember you do. I don't know if, yeah, I didn't have it, but I remember it. I loved my Lights Alive. Yeah, so we're just watching a bit of that. Um, 
I've still got my tash of pseudocreme. I'm trying to rub it in. Anyway, um, also I've had a call from Iceland to say that, what was it? One of the vans broke down. Yeah, one of the vans broke down. So our order won't be able to get here tonight. So they offered us either tomorrow morning. Which I don't want to unpack all that shopping on my own. It's not happening. Tomorrow night. So we're having it tomorrow. Evening. Yeah. That'd be the so. same time, but tomorrow. Oh, so yeah, I apologise if I mentioned there was going to be a haul because there isn't. But it's not my fault. It's not my fault. Um, did you all do anything different, or did you just get the same remember. kind of stuff? Um, I can't remember. Mm. But yeah, just, so just no bits. delivery, yeah. no delivery tonight. Um, so yeah, all the rest of the evening I'm going to do is just chill. I've got a cold flannelly. I've been putting it on my head because I just feel like. Ugh. Um. But yeah, so I'm going to end the vlog now because all I'm doing the rest of the evening is just probably laying on the sofa, moaning, <laughs> Ooh, putting more pseudo creme on my face to try and get rid of these spots and yeah, watching some TV and, and trying to read. I have tried to read again, but I can't seem to focus, but hopefully in a, an hour or something. You can read some more paranormal books. You didn't mind that. Yeah, I was into that. The only thing I don't like about your book is this. The eye. See the eyes at the top? Well, you come in the room at night when the eyes are just peeking out of the cover. <laughs> you'd left it under the cover. I remember that. And you went, you scared me. I'd come in and there was just eyes looking at me. Yeah. It's black at like three in the morning. I like yeah, it's scary. I don't like the cover of it, but it is a good book. But, um, yeah, so thank you for watching. Sorry it's gone a bit meh. Um, but, yeah. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget, give a thumbs up, leave a comment, share, subscribe, smash the bell, and check out Mixlaura123 ASMR, my other channel, links down below, as are all the links to my social media, so come and follow me on there. Okie dokie, everyone, take care of yourselves, and hopefully in the next video, I will not be as ill and groggy, and not have a white moustache of pseudocrim. <laughs> see you later, bye.